All right, all right, guys. What is going on, everybody? My name is Dave Stereo, and today we've got Celeste True Ending being run. Uh, GSA is doing a charity stream benefiting the Diabetes Prevention and Aid Fund. Uh, if you guys want to know how to donate for that, all you got to do is type exclamation point donate, and that'll show up in the chat. Also, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that darker side run from Dangers. Yeah, shouts out to, to Dangers. That was, that was freaking sweet. But now... We gotta go from the 2D, or go from the 3D, go into the 2D. And yeah, like I said, we're gonna be running Celeste True Ending. So pretty much this category is get to chapter nine and beat it as fast as possible. So, you know, if you guys have been paying attention to the Any Percent League, Any Percent is just chapters one through seven. We're gonna be doing chapters eight and nine as well. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and without further ado, I think I'm just gonna get going. Three, two, one. All right. So yeah, this is Celeste. And honestly, the way it controls is pretty simple. You have a jump, you have a climb, and soon enough we're gonna have a dash. And pretty much the way the speed tech works in this game is we're going to be using our jump and our dash in very specific combinations. There's a thing called the super dash where if you dash and then you jump out of it, you will get a ton of momentum and speed. There's also a hyper dash where if you're crouching into the ground and you dash and then you jump out of that, you get even more speed but not as much height. Yeah, it's going to be very fast. This game is very input intensive. It's actually pretty difficult to uh, commentate and run at the same time, you know? But I think we're going to be okay. Additionally, I can dash vertically into walls and then jump out of that and that's called a wall bounce like that So the first main detour from any percent is we actually need to collect four hearts and That is to unlock the core level and on this next screen coming up I'm gonna be entering a password with all of my dashes and you can do it anywhere in the screen starting from here so up left down right up right left up left and then you pause and retry you have a very short window to be able to pause and retry in order to skip the heart spawning cutscene oh that's not what you do that's one heart down additionally there's things called corner boost like that, I just did two of them. Where if you fly into the top edge of a wall and you're holding grab like that and jump out of it, you can kind of boost and fly out. Also watch this. Okay, I just jumped off a spike. Don't worry about it. I mean, technically, it's the wall, but... Alright, not bad. Alright, so chapter 1 down. We're we'll moving on to chapter 2. So, I'm actually going to be opting to grab a heart in this chapter. You can also get a heart in chapter 3, but I I'm going to get the heart in chapter 2 instead of chapter 3. And the way you get this heart... You can actually use the loading transitions to replenish your dash. There's a nice little Easter egg. You do that. Oh! Gotta dash into the heart. Now we're just gonna restart the chapter to spawn back here faster. How'd you guys like Dangerous Run? Also, I skipped that cutscene at a p specific vertical position so that I could instantly spawn into the dream block. Yeah, these are dream blocks, by the way. You can dash through them. You also have the addition or the ability to jump out of them to get more speed. And if you have two jump buttons, 
you can get two jumps out of each block. Additionally, the hyper dash technique that I've been doing, you can also hyper dash out of dream blocks. And this is battling. It's pretty much a manifestation of all of our negative attributes. It's here to antagonize us. But if we're lucky, we're just gonna outrun. You may have noticed on that screen, I stored a up dash and I wall bounce into the next screen. So yeah, you can transfer momentum from screen to screen or even store wall bounces. Nice little secret pathway here. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to improvise. Okay. This game is really scary. This is the awake section. There's not really any hazards. But there's many corners that you can get tripped up on. Like so. <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys also may notice, I guess we have some incentives right here. We got some incentives if you guys want to... Reach the, the donation milestones if you guys want to hear a interesting story. I'm going to have to think of an interesting story. Alrighty, chapter three. So, now the first two chapters were nice, short, and sweet. This one's a little bit longer. And a little bit more difficult. So you'll see these little dust bunnies. It's going to be pretty much the theme of the chapter. Where we're going to have to deal with cycles. So... I'm gonna be very conscious of like my momentum going into each screen so I can get exactly the strats that I want. Oh, what am I doing? I'm just gonna take this berry with me the entire time, you know? Also, one thing to, to know, every time I open a door with a key, more instruments get added into the song. Yeah, shout out to Lena Rain and the soundtrack. Like, it's incredible, but yeah. If you want to pay attention, every time I use a key and a door, more instruments will be added. Also, there's these little hairs on the walls where if you touch them, hazards will spawn. Dang it. Got a nice scent there. And that theme carries on into the next song also, every time we clear one of these rooms. Yeah, this is the huge mess section. It's full of a bunch of boxes, towels, and books. And it's cool because there's gonna be three subsections that you can tackle in any order. And whenever you complete a section, the respective type of, uh, you know, the respective objects will be cleared. Thus, the platforms change depending on which order you do the rooms in. Also, I just jumped off a spike. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Long story short, if you're moving away from spikes, you can't take damage to them. So there's certain corners where we can uh, get a wall jump seemingly off of spikes. And yeah, this is uh, Mr. Oshiro, by the way. This is his hotel. Um, he's not very good at keeping it clean. And you learn later that these uh, little dust bunnies and all the red hazards are uh, pretty much manifestations of his anxiety. This game has an incredible story, by the way. Um, your casual playthrough won't look like this, but it is a very friendly uh, casual game. I mean, it's a difficult game, but it's also a game about achieving and overcoming. Um, yeah, the, the story in this game is just so phenomenal. Nice. 
do I go so far in one jump? So pretty much I'm dashing angled into the ground and then jumping out of that. So that's called a hyper dash. And then if I'm not crouching and I just dash and then jump out of that, that's called a super dash. Additionally, there's an ultra dash like I just did there, but I kind of got caught where downward angle dashes add to your speed. So if you chain a hyper dash into a downward angle dash, you get like crazy speed and uh... All right, so this is gonna be a demo dash. Pretty much there's a way to shorten Madeline's hitbox with a dash and you can use it to seemingly go through solid walls. Like that. So there's actually, you know, a couple pixel gap where the hazards can't hurt you. If you do this technique called the demo dash, you shrink your hitbox just enough to be able to get through it. Also, you can store momentum into cutscenes and then fly. That's that to this song, by the way, or this part of the song. Oh, I didn't get my dash back. So that's also like, that, that's a big thing about this game where you're dashing and jumping in certain combinations to be able to preserve your dash after doing some of these movement techniques. And the timing can be so precise that like, you know, you sometimes don't get your dash back when you want it. I don't think we're really welcome back though. I don't think Mr. Oshira liked us. Well, it was, it was, the demo dash was technically, you know, sort of unintended, but you guys will see in chapter nine, it has become intended, but I don't want to spoil chapter nine. Uh, dang it. This is chapter four. We get these nice green bubbles or teal. Guys, what color is the bubbles? There's also going to be some wind and cloud mechanics. Shouts out to that corner boost. Love it. So, the thing about the bubbles is normally when you enter them, there's a little buffer time. Ooh, hoo -hoo, okay, we're not dying. There's a little buffer time when you enter in the bubbles, but if you dash... If you dash right when you hit the bubble... Oh, nope, we gotta get Archie. No, we gotta get Archie! The strat's called Archie, by the way. Yeah, if you dash right when you enter a bubble, it removes the buffer time. Oh, it's Cyan, okay. Also, do you guys like Super Mario Bros. 3? We're just gonna kinda sit on this. I go into the background. That's a nice little, nice little nod from Super Mario Bros. 3 to get one of the secret hearts. Oh. All right, nice little strat here with this block, except we're gonna kind of leave the block. Everybody say bye. Oh man, we get to see it one more time. Everybody say hi to the block. Now we said bye. there. Get a nice second to breathe here.
But yeah, I just want to thank uh, GSA and Speedrun.com for allowing me to showcase Celeste. I've got some more awesome runs happening after this. You know, we got some Paper Mario and some Super Mario 64 randomizer. Really stoked for that. Alright, this is the uh, clip face section where the wind gets so heavy and pretty much the only way you can move forward is by dashing. Your walking speed is pretty much non-existent. Oh, okay, okay. Go under. Oh, okay. Oh, my dashes got eaten. All right, that's chapter three. Oh no, that's chapter four. Dude, we're going. We're going way too fast. I'm still in chapter three, or my brain's in chapter three, my body's in chapter four. Let's go to chapter five. All right, Mirror Temple. So in addition to there being, you know, just the standard level, there's also things called the B-sides and the C-sides. And you can find the B-side, which is a alternate version of the level that is way more difficult. And it's a collectible that you have to get within the A-side. Funny enough, if you complete a B-side without Finishing the A-side, it still gives you completion for the chapter. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to find the B-side tape here in Chapter 5. Exit out of 5A and go and do 5B. And this is actually faster. <laughs> also, I've seen chat who's going to donate a dollar per death. Am I just going to purposely die a lot? Oh my god, can I can I jump and hit the switch, please? Now let's see if we can do the awesome strat here. Oh, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, okay. Whoops. Nice little strat you can do here to skip this next screen. But it's all good. No depths corner boost yeet. side tape and after this we're gonna return to map it's like that and if you got any music related emotes you know jam emotes I think now is the proper time to do so it's one of the best songs in the game but yeah, this level is pretty difficult there's also a nice skip here in this level where we're pretty much gonna abuse the way the the checkpoints work and we're gonna enter a screen through an unintended location. And then when we respawn, it's gonna think we've progressed the screen and it's gonna advance us to the next checkpoint. That's gonna happen right here. I'm gonna go up top and time a two frame jump press. And I missed it, that's fine. I'm just gonna return the map and come back. So yeah, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to nail a two frame jump press and uh, fall back down. There we go. You can do some pause buffering te techniques to make it work. And yeah, suddenly we're over on this side. Dang it. Ouch, that hurts. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the red bubbles. Red bubbles are much like the green bubbles, except they go indefinitely. 
And then there were also the, the platforms that move every time I dash. You guys are about to see the Seekers. They don't really play nice. Right here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's improv? Yeah. Ouch. So yeah, then after you pop them, you can get a nice explosive boost and uh, get launched by them. All right, this is Theo. We gotta take him with us so we can open doors at the end of each of these sections. Oh, that seeker's not supposed to be there. Okay, okay. This is called the gauntlet room because it's a gauntlet. Guys, if you would like to donate to benefit the uh, the charity, all you guys gotta do is type exclamation point donate in the chat to get the link. But all right, that is chapter five. Now it's time for chapter six. All right, so this chapter introduces us to these feathers, where we can fly. And if you're using the analog stick here, you can get full 360 degree movement, which is very nice. This is like skip if I cannot choke it, I might. Oh! Yeah, you're trying to get a wall bounce off like... Nice little pixel there. Cool that I got a second try. In addition... There's also these cabin blocks that move in the opposite direction of you hitting them. Shouts out to Kevin. this block jump off of it really fast to get it out of the way also gonna hit this guy and stand up top so I can get my dash back so I can actually wall bounce off of the Kevin block a really cool strat I'm actually gonna go oh wait what am I doing <laughs> I was thinking this is where I wanted to go bottom route but nope we're gonna go top so yeah reflection is pretty cool it's got multiple pathways so if you find that a screen is really kicking your butt you can kind of backtrack and decide to go a different route also that we have these bumpers now or you know they bounce they boing but also if you're holding away from them when you hit them you get sort of like a double boost. Like this. Oh, not like that. Not like that, but like that. And it, it allowed me to skip that second bumper. Ow, ow. Ow! I tried to do a cool strat and the game was like, nope!
So somebody asked if I don't do 6B, what was the fourth heart? I, uh, I got 1A, 2A, 4A, and then completing 5B gets you a heart. Are you guys ready for the battle and boost? You can get some nice momentum off this block into the next scene. Whee! All right, can we get some hey yas in the chat? Just enjoy, guys, you know. There's some awesome movement. We're gonna continually hur hurl ourselves at battling. Actually, I'm gonna go for a crazy strat on the next screen. I'm gonna try to chain a reverse hyper. You'll see. Right here. Oh! Okay. You know what? We're just gonna continue. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Us. Love the strat that ends this screen. Oh, actually, okay. Just had to take my time with it, you know. Now you guys gotta type glitchy hey yas. Ah, I had a feeling I was gonna do that. Ah. We have defeated Battlin. We can reconcile our differences. We go to level two. You guys see that? We leveled up. The only level in the game. And now we have two dashes, which we can utilize in the next chapters. All right. All right, all right. So if we were doing any percent, this next chapter would actually be the last chapter. But you know, Summit's not the end of true ending. Hope you guys are ready. Ow, okay. <laughs> so yeah, you can see we've got two dashes now. Also way less floor.
Is that much like Reliant says? The songs adapt to the theme of the levels because the summit is pretty much a chapter where you're revisiting all the themes of previous chapters, such as uh, the level gimmicks and uh, whatnot. Okay, we're gonna do that. <laughs> Wait, you could really pick apart some elements of the uh, the music references. Oh, okay. We're gonna do a full strat here where we're gonna do a reverse super dash into a down angle dash that threads through these spikes. I'm gonna get this block right there to get it out of the way nice and early so I can get through it fast. All right, so now that we have two dashes, and dream blocks, you're really gonna see me utilize hyper dashing out of the dream blocks. You're just gonna see me fly out of them. But they're also kind of very risky because the timing's particular. And if you mess up the inputs, you can just send yourself dashing into the ground. Well, I mean, there is no ground. <laughs> so dashing into death. You can also do it on top of spikes if there are spikes on top of a dream block. Oh, I'm doing a weird path in here. It's kind of hard to talk and play this game at the same time, but... But yeah, so you'll you'll see me hyper dash off of some spikes. It's gonna be on this screen. Right here. Yep! Spikes don't hurt. Alright, the chapter 3 revisit is arguably one of the hardest parts of the game. favorite rooms in the game. Also, also, guys, I want you to keep an eye. Keep an eye on this next screen. The dust bunnies look like a dog. Let me get a Frank or Z or an Oh My Dog in the chat. There's a cool strat here. Okay, we're just gonna get through it. Also guys, just a reminder, this marathon you're watching is benefiting the Diabetes Prevention and Aid Fund, which if you guys would like to donate, all you guys gotta do is type exclamation point donate in the chat. All right, very cool strat on the screen. Normally you have to use this block to go all the way, but we're gonna die. And we're gonna try it again. Come on, Dave. You can do it. There we go. Demo dash under those spikes. A nice little wall jump. Time for the chapter five revisit. Deep breaths, chat.
Ah, uh, this strat is hard. You do two ultra dashes. Like that. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. All right, so normally you have to take a bubble that's all the way in the under section of this and go all the way up so you can get this key. But we just kind of did a uh, double spike jump there to skip that section. Got any, got any door skip fans in the chat? We're gonna skip the doors. All right, and when we reach the summit or the final 30 flags, 3,000 meters, I want to see you guys counting down in the chat. All right, here we go. 30. There's a wall here behind the cloud that you can wall bounce off of, but you can't see it. So this is the downdraft section where the wind is constantly forcing us down. So we're gonna use wall bounces to our advantage and kind of just fly up that way. Ah, wow, that's a new one. That's an even newer one. First time for everything. Who preemptively said 21? Who did it? Ow, okay. All right, come on, Dave, do the strats. At <laughs> 22 again, love it. Get my dashes back. Like 13 is a nightmare for people. Some people. Just like that, reach the summit. But again, guys, this is not the end of our speed run just yet. We have to, you know, look at our pie so that we can unlock the core. Because we still got two chapters left. I'd say that's probably like halfway through the run. All right, so this is the core. 
where the main thing about this chapter is when you dash, you do not get your dashes back without touching a crystal. So this is why we needed the four hearts so we can open this door. And actually, you are supposed to require more hearts to do the final chapter. But the thing about that is, and I'm not, well, we're gonna skip the door, but we'll get to that later. So one thing you can do here is you can kind of like dash into the crystals so that you use a dash, but then you get two back immediately. And you're gonna skip right here. This might take me a couple tries. Okay, nice. So yeah, normally you're supposed to go all the way to the, the right side. I'm doing very weird strides here. I don't know what I, I don't even know what I'm doing. So yeah, normally you're supposed to go to the right side there and then change it to ice. Cause yeah, we actually haven't seen one of the main gimmicks of this chapter where you can switch it to ice. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna wait. <laughs> so yeah, you can change it to ice and that was supposed to make it so you could uh, get up through the ceiling, but you know, we sort of just skipped everything. Again, this game is pretty difficult to commentate your gameplay while you're doing it, but no, I think we're doing a decent job. Ah! Okay, we're fine. We're not fine. Oh, we're fine. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. I was not supposed to use dash there. I learned a new strat actually yesterday where you get a double bumper boost here. You get a double bumper boost off that that bumper. If I can do it. Ow! Okay. There we go. I'm actually gonna do it. I promise. There we go. You preserve two dashes on that. You can just hyper dash across everything. That's what you don't want to do. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, I, I don't even have an excuse for that one. is the level that I've played the least, undeniably. A lot of people can find this level pretty frustrating, but once you get some awesome strats going, it is an amazing level. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing this so weird sometimes. Alright, so I'm gonna save a dash here. So that I can kind of skip the very end of this screen. Like that. Oh. I kind of wanted to use a dash. I don't know why. Okay. That almost went unintended. All right. If I can jump over that. 
That, that mini spike is sometimes so hard to jump over and I have no idea why. Ah! Oh, can we? No, we cannot. I thought. I thought wrong. Yeah, when you're in a feather, I don't think you want to bash into a wall. We unlock Corby. Too bad we're not gonna actually play Corby. And with up, oh, one more. Alrighty, are you guys ready for chapter nine? Who's ready for chapter nine? This is my favorite chapter in the game. It's arguably, well, I mean, the, the world record for chapter 9 is like 17-ish minutes. Uh, but when you play this chapter for the first time, it's literally going to be as long as the base game. Like, chapter 9 pretty much doubles the size of Celeste. And it is so good. I, I absolutely love everything about this chapter. The, the levels, the movement, the music. But right, here we go. Chapter 9, let's do it. So back to two dashes for a couple screens, but we're actually going to make uh, Badalyn mad at us, and she's going to leave us on her own. So, standard, we've got one dash. But, there's these double gem crystals that give us two dashes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you might want to just like turn your headphones up for this entire chapter, by the way. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't have a PB for this category on speedrun.com. So this is literally gonna be my PB. So yeah, we have these puffer fish where if you hit them on the tops of their heads, you boing off them, but if you go underneath them, they explode. We're also gonna skip all the keys in this room. We're also going to get to one of the other main mechanics in this chapter on the next screen. These jellyfish. <laughs> Ow! Yep, that was a little weird. Okay, it's weird again. I'm making a weird chat, I'm sorry. Whoa, okay. Dave, get through the screen. You can do it, it's easy. See? Alright, so we're actually going to keep this jellyfish with us into the next screen. So normally, you, you see all of these locked things in the center of the screen which would open up the pathway for a bubble to go all the way up. We're actually not gonna get any keys. Cause we're gonna do a, the strat called Jelly Vatering, where if you're holding down when you release the jellyfish, you just drop it in place and then you can dash up into it and fly up. 
Knowing that, we are actually going to do a intended skip. This doesn't look intended, but trust me, it, it totally is. Hopefully I don't choke. All right, there we go. And you can tell this is intended because this little secret area opens up. So yeah, literally dev intended skip. Shout out to everybody, it's extremely okay games. Literally make the, the coolest, coolest stuff in the world. All right, so remembered section. Now some more, more fish, more jelly. I try to do a cool strat on the screen without touching any of the other. Normally you're supposed to bring down like all these pillars, but you can kind of do nice skips there. You can, uh, there's like many ways you can do this screen, honestly. Not like that, though. Cool. Alright, so I want you guys to pay attention to this screen. I'm actually gonna take a minute to go for this strat. It is so cool. Alright, so you can demo dash through those spikes there, and it is just so insane. Ah, I was a pixel too low. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrible at this screen, so we're just gonna... We're just gonna get through it. Yeah, like, so you can do a thing here where the jellyfish clears the block. But I'm kind of rusty at it. So I'm gonna do what I've always done. And just die. Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. All right, so I remember that heart door I was talking about where you were supposed to get hearts? Well, it just killed me. And now we just skipped it. Ow. Oh, wow. I didn't think I was gonna clear the spike. So you gotta be confident in everything. You gotta fully commit to the things you wanna do in life. You know? Oh. Well, actually, you know it's good. You can get that bird a little bit earlier, but. All right, guys, if you got the jam emotes in the chat, this is the song to do it on. Actually, every song in this chapter. doorbell of that exact tone. Oh, you're supposed to grab it, Madeline. Da, 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 da. 
I'm gonna do a cool strat here where I'm gonna get some momentum. Like, oh, if I can do it. We're gonna skip one of these zippers. Just like that. Or not skip this. We skipped a part of the screen. God, it is so hard to commentate and play this game at the same time, let me tell ya. Ding dong. All right, this screen, uh, type one in chat if uh, the screen gave you nightmares. All right, so this screen is actually very cool. Normally you're supposed to go like all the way to the right side there and do a bunch of stuff, but we're, uh, we're kind of gonna not do any of that. Also, there's something I gotta show you guys about this. Ah, oh, Dave. Dave, why'd you do that, man? All right. Yeah, there's something I gotta show you guys. So there's an Easter egg here where seemingly, seemingly there's nothing here, but this siren gets converted into images and it leads you on a giant scavenger hunt which eventually leads to a you know pictures that have all of or like tons of community members names and like there, there's multiple pictures you can get but it's a crazy elaborate easter egg where you know the developers just wanted to you know give a little nod to the community and again everyone in extremely okay games and power up audio you know they, they're all amazing people Also, th this is another nightmare screen. You might notice we're gonna skip some bubbles here. Okay, honestly, everybody should play this game. Ow. And so somebody was asking earlier if the demo dash is a glitch. Oh, oh, well, don't do that. So yeah, again, it used to be, but you will see on the, this screen right here, if I can do it. Ah! Would you believe me if I said there was a secret there? I'm gonna go for this. I've been doing pretty decent throughout the run. I got time to spare, I think. Come on, Dave. Yeah, and then bam, Margera. So yeah, Demo Dash is now canon. This is my personal nightmare screen.
Actually, no, this is my nightmare screen. Oh my god, is this my nightmare screen. I pray that I just get this done timely. Thank you. Thank you. You can actually die if Madeline throws you up into those uh, stars. All right, this is the part where Madeline dies. I mean. Oh. <laughs> oh God. Okay, you know what? We're gonna walk it out. Okay. Oh god, what was I even dealing with my brain? Ah, oh, come on, Dave. Hit the thing! Almost gave up. I can't believe I hit that. Oh my, yeah, I did not want to get a ball bounce there. Okay. Focus, Dave. Yeah. Ah, there's a really cool quick strat you can do on the screen, but... I'm just gonna do a strat. Actually, I'm gonna go for something on this screen. Nice. Nice, dude. All right, this is the true best song in the game. This is the true best song in the game. Oh, oh okay. I'm. I should look at the screen when I play the video game. I don't know, Chad. You're you're, you're just looking. You're you're just looking too beautiful. Wow, I got all of my momentum eaten. Can we save it? We saved it, okay. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> like, the bird couldn't just, like, fly a little bit over to me. Okay, no excuses for that one. Sometimes you just forget how to jump, you know? Oh god. Oh my god, you know what? 
You know what? What am I doing? Okay, we're fine. Oh my god. supposed to clip that block. Oh my god. Okay. And guys, you know, we are approaching the end of our speed run. And again, I just want to thank speedrun.com, GSA, everybody here. We got one final thing to do. And this is the final screen of the game. And in a game like this, what do you think the final screen could be? It's a gauntlet, let me tell you. I cannot die at any point in the screen. No checkpoints for the rest of the game. Uh, we're gonna do this. This part reminds me of Donkey Kong Country 2. Like Wendy Well. Also, shouts out to when these drums kick in. Oh my god, it's so good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go nice and easy. All right, guys. Oh, say goodbye to the jellyfish. momentum off that jelly leaving me hanging ba -na -ba. Ba -na -ba. Ba -ba. all right yep we running it back ba -na -na -ba -na. We almost did it in one go. There had to be a death like that, right? Also, apologies for the slip. Alright, let's go. 
I just wanted to hear more of the song. I can't believe I did that. Also, there's one more chance where I can die. Off this guy. Okay, we're home free, I think. Until we're not. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Alright, let's go home. And... Fine. <sighs> alrighty. Alright, alright. Again, really wanted to thank everybody. Really wanted to thank everybody for checking out Celeste. You know, thank you all so much for your contributions to the Diabetes Prevention and Aid Fund. Again, speedrun.com, GSA, thank you guys so much for having me. Thanks for letting me run one of my favorite games. And that is technically my PB. That right there is technically my PB. All right, and also just a couple donations. No, Chi Obsidian donated ten dollars. Says good luck, Dave. We're rooting for you. Sound Defense also with the twenty-five dollars, and Sound Defense with two. Sound Defense donated two hundred and fifty dollars. Two hundred and fifty. What? A uh, what? Jeez. Guys, can we get some hearts in the chat? Can we get some hearts in the chat? But again, really appreciate all the GGs. Thanks for being here. Uh, but you know, don't go anywhere. We got some Paper Mario coming up. We got Paper Mario being run by Jcog, and then we got Cheese doing a Super Mario 64 120 star randomizer. I hope you guys are stoked for that. And again, you know, if you did want to donate and support the charity, all you got to do is type exclamation point donate in the chat to get the link for that. Again, my name is Dave Stereo. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time, okay? All right. Peace out, guys. Synced. They are synced now. <laughs> Do whatever in the lead again. Wow. Side for sure from cheese. Okay, doing it moving. Oh, oh no, it's cheese ball!